Remote patient monitoring is, is pretty interesting in the sense that, again, it, it's, it, it's like Big Brother, but in the best possible way, right? It's a little bit of a relief, I think, for patients to be like, I don't have to, I don't have to pay so much attention to this. I actually can have an expert who is paying attention to it for me. Um, so I think, you know, our ability to to monitor patients um, remotely in an ongoing way is pretty is pretty amazing. Um, just the hospital at home concept, for, I, I think, is is tremendous. So we're seeing, you know, more and more care being practiced at home. It started, you know, again, with like COVID testing, you know, the, the concept of doing a rapid test on your own at home was almost non-existent before COVID. And that seems impossible to remember because it was just so recent, but really before the pandemic, the idea of, again, consumers being in the driver's seat of their healthcare, it wasn't, it, it hadn't happened yet. So we now have really flipped the switch and we're saying, yeah, do your COVID test at home. You know, maybe you can also be using all of these other types of tests at home. And maybe we can actually start putting more digital tools in your home to not only test you when you need to be, but to treat you also. And so I think, you know, we'll get to the point where I think in, in the home setting, we have enough digital health tools that in some ways the hospital becomes obsolete.